Can anyone make pizza? Definitely. Can you make chicken pizza from home? Of course you can. You can absolutely make this delicious chicken soya pizza from your house. And today I'm going to show you how to make it. It is so delicious and it is so easy as well. So if you're interested, keep watching. My name is Yamisi. Welcome to my channel. So first you need to put some warm water in a bowl, not hot, not cold. Now we're going to add some sugar to the bowl. We're going to add some yeast to this. Yeast likes eating food and sugar is what it eats. So we're going to put some instant yeast in this bowl. You don't have to proof it or anything because this is instant yeast. Just mix it with the sugar and then we'll transfer it to the bowl of flour. You can add the instant yeast directly to the flour, but this is the process I like. In this large bowl, I'm going to sift all-purpose flour. So this is like plain flour and we're just going to sift it for two reasons. First of all, to get rid of clumps and also to get rid of dirt. Sometimes there are some random things in these flour mixtures. So you just have to get rid of everything and to make sure you're good to go. For all the measurements, please check the description box. I'm going to have it there. Also check the comment section. Now I'm going to add some salt and I'm just going to mix everything together. Also, I'm going to add some virgin olive oil. You can add this to the water and then we're just going to add the water that has the yeast and sugar and then mix everything together. I don't like to use my hands initially so I go with a spatula to mix and combine everything. This initial mixing process for me takes maybe two minutes. So once you mix it for two minutes, allow it to rest. I always like my dough to rest initially before I come back and properly mix because by then it would activate the gluten and it would be easier for me to mix everything together. So cover the dough with a cloth or cling film and allow it to rest for 15 minutes. Now it's past 15 minutes and I've come back to the dough. As you can see, it is softer and that's because the gluten has been activated by itself. Now I'm just going to mix everything together. After a while, after like two minutes, I'm going to use my hands. The dough is sticky, which it should be. And I'm just going to put some flour on my hands and start mixing. I'll knead the dough. This is my own process of kneading dough. So you just mix everything together, roll, mix, fold, mix, fold, mix, and this process can take about 10 minutes. If you have a stand mixer, perfect. But if you don't and you are like me, you're going to use your hands till you get dough that is like this. This took me about 10 minutes to knead. So I'm just going to transfer it back to the bowl and then I'll add some more olive oil on the side. This is just to prevent sticking. And then we're going to cover it and leave it on the kitchen countertop for two hours. While we are waiting for the dough to get ready, please click the like button on this video. It helps out my channel and it lets me know that you like these kind of recipes and I should do more of it. So please click the like button and leave me a nice comment. While the dough is resting, we're going to prepare our toppings. So because this is chicken soya pizza, this is what they sell at Domino's and I love it. So that's why I'm showing you guys this recipe. I'm sorry, Domino's, I love you. <laughs> so we're going to season some chicken breast. I'm putting um, soya, that is yaji spice. And I'm also putting some chicken seasoning. You can season with anything you like, but because this is soya, you have to use soya pepper. And then we're just going to pan fry it. So this is chicken breast. It cooks very, very fast. In three minutes or so, it is cooked. So I'll just allow it to fry on each side for a minute and a half and then turn it around and then we're good to go. You can let it cool down or you can do it immediately. All you just need to do is to chop the chicken breast into little chunks. You know, just the way you can put it on your pizza so that it's not heavy. 
to make pizza you need cheese and i'm using mozzarella cheese i like to buy different brands of mozzarella cheese because i feel like <laughs> they have different tastes and they work differently even though you're supposed to do the same thing but i'm just extra like that it's always advisable to buy your own block of cheese and to grate it when you want to use it that way you know it does not have you know preservatives and it melts perfectly on your pizza for the rest of the toppings we need green bell pepper we also need some atarodo which is scotch bonnet and we need onions when you look at the domino's chicken pizza that is what you see on it and that is what you taste so we're just making a copycat recipe for chicken suya domino's chicken suya pizza you need pizza sauce so for mine i'm using bell peppers and some tomatoes i'm just going to blend it and boil it down and this is what i get you can buy tomato sauce from the supermarket as well now it's been two hours and we are ready for pizza <laughs> I always don't tell my son we're making pizza until we get to this stage because he's not patient enough to wait. This dough makes a very big pizza. So this is not a medium-sized pizza. This is a large pizza. I even feel this is the chairman-sized pizza because my pizza pan is very big. So now using my hands, I'm just going to spread it wide, you know, spread it wide the way you see pizza. I'm spreading it around sometimes because the dough is elastic it will keep going back but you need to let it know where it needs to go you need to tell it see my friend we're making pizza spread out <laughs> so you spread it out sometimes you can use a rolling pin to make it flatter if you want your dough to be flatter now we're just going to put the sauce on the dough you don't need a lot if you put too much it will soak your dough and if you notice my dough is a bit oily that way the sauce is not going to penetrate and make the dough soggy so that's just one pizza tip for you so now this is our grated cheese and you can just sprinkle that on your pizza the beautiful thing about homemade pizza is you can do what you like free yourself if you like put a furry roll on top <laughs> it depends on the taste you are going for there are so many types of pizza and i'm sure if italians see this chicken suya pizza they will be like this is not how you make a pizza you don't need chicken suya but this is our nigerian chicken suya pizza and it is a best seller so you can put whatever toppings you like just make sure you don't put a lot so that it does not overwhelm the pizza so I'm just putting some of that green bell pepper that will cut into bits and then some of the red scotch bonnet that will cut into bits. When you look at Domino's Pizza, this is what it looks like. I studied it very well. <laughs> and then now we're going to put some onions on it as well. Now it is time to put the chicken suya so we're just going to sprinkle it on top of the pizza you don't need a lot that's just the truth you do not need a lot so that your pizza does not collapse but we're just going to put enough <laughs> more than enough <laughs> i'm actually enjoying making this pizza we make it all the time maybe once a week or twice a week because i really want the flavors of the soya i'm sprinkling some soya pepper on the pizza and it makes it so extra tasty like when you take a bite you can feel everything it's so good so we're going to transfer the pizza to the oven my oven was preheated i need to explain properly here so my oven was preheated for 30 minutes meaning it was very very hot and then i transferred the pizza to it now this is five minutes later after putting the pizza it has risen a bit so i'm just using a brush to rub olive oil around the edges so that it can brown very nicely so in total my own pizza takes about 10 minutes to make and that depends on the heat of your oven so this is already like the five six minute mark where i brought it out put the olive oil around it and then put it back in 
as you can see my pizza is on a tray but the tray is also on a stone so that's a pizza stone and i always leave it in my oven it helps my pizza get really really crisp at the bottom if you don't have the pizza stone you don't need to worry you can just put the tray in the oven but i'm showing you that i have it so you can see what i have and how i make my pizza if you want to know more about my pizza stone and to see all the things I bought for my kitchen recently, I'll put a link in the description box so you can check it out for my kitchen haul video and at the top right hand corner of this video. This is what my pizza looks like fresh from the oven. As you can see, it's a little crispy on top and you can see our soya spice on top makes it very golden and lovely and we're just going to cut it into little pieces as always i want you to try my recipes if you try it out and you love it of course you're going to love it <laughs> when you try it out and you love it please tag me on social media tag me on facebook instagram twitter anywhere i would love to see your results also please click the like button on this video so that i know that you like this video it also helps me out and leave a positive comment for me i'll see you in my next video